Welcome to 956 Sports uh, Week 11 in high school football. This is the pick show. Uh, Jake Berry, Kevin Nato, Joey Calvillo. Uh, sorry for the uh, post-Halloween costume, Jake. Tell you to take it off. I didn't want to do that. but You can't take off good looking. <laughs> so we're going to start off with uh, the Thursday night games. I know a lot of you are looking forward to the playoffs already last week in, 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 the, uh, in the regular season. And see what we can do um, about getting you that fix later on today. But we're going to talk about the picks right now. First game, Thursday, 32-5A, Brownsville Veterans versus Donna High School at Bain La Prade Stadium. Jake? Well, you know, normally I would say go with the home team. Uh, but here's the thing in that district. It's been real weird, okay? Mercedes lost to Brownsville Vets. Ed Couch also loses to Brownsville Vets. Oh, wait, did I say that right? No, Mercedes lost to yeah. Lopez. Lopez. Brownsville Vets beats Ed Couchell. So you don't know who's going to win that district. Uh, I will tell you this much right now, though. I don't think the home team's going to win. I think Brownsville Vets is going to close this out and become at least co-district champs. Yeah, the Chargers are going to finish off the regular season on a high note. I think it'll be their fifth straight win. And uh, they've already clinched the playoff spot, I believe, so this is a matter of seeding. Yeah, I think it's important for them to finish off on, on a, a high note, and the uh, Brownsville Veterans uh, Chargers are going to win this game. Ed Couch Elsa versus Brownsville Porter at Sam Stadium. Yes. Uh, no, uh, look, I mean, Brownsville Porter's had a tough year. Uh, Etiel Chelsea needs to, cl- uh, needs to finish off the season right. Uh, so I think uh, Etiel Chelsea by ways. Etiel Chelsea. Same thing, Etiel Chelsea. All right, 31 6 Edinburgh North versus PSJ High. North needs his win. Uh, Economy is beating PSJ North right now. Uh, last week, uh, you know, makes this a little bit trickier for them. They need this win. PSJ can't score points. Uh, Edinburgh North has also proven that uh, you know they lose games that they should win. So um, I'm going to go with North in this one, but I wouldn't be surprised if PSJ wins. Yeah, it's simple for Edinburgh North. Uh, they win and they're in. Uh, Jake is right. Last week, PSJ put up 40 against Edinburgh Bella. So it is a bit of a dangerous game for Edinburgh North, but also it's a very important one. Uh, I'm going to go with Edinburgh North on the road for them to get that fourth and final playoff spot. Yeah, at PSJ Stadium, um, I don't know. Um, if PSJ can pull it out, I am going to go with North just because I'd like to see North get into the playoffs after the rough uh, start that they've had this season. Uh, it would be a nice finish for, PS- for Edinburgh North to get into the, uh, to the playoffs. Uh, PSJ North and Edinburgh High at Cat Stadium, or Florida Stadium, excuse me. This was a very interesting football game because all of a sudden, two weeks ago we were talking about the Bobcats clinching a playoff spot and thinking they'd be the fourth seed. Now we're talking about them being the potential two seed in that district. Uh, PSG North is banged up. Uh, they're continuing to be not healthy this week. They're missing a couple of starters. I'm going to go with Edinburgh High at home. Now, see, here's the thing, and, and I don't like the seeding in, in, uh, in football because they don't do it in basketball. They don't do it in any other sport. Big school, small school. Okay, Regardless of how this ends, Edinburgh will still finish the season as the number two small school in that district. So, they're going to face the same player, uh, same team that they're pretty much going to face. Now, the other district is way different. Edinburgh should win this game because PSG North is hurt. Um, I'm going to go with Edinburgh, but no, you know what? I'm going to go with PSG North. Really? Uh, that surprised me. I'm going to go with the, the Bobcats on this one. Um, every time that I've gone against the Bobcats, I've kind of lost on that. Um, Bobcats, last game of the season, I think they're really going to, really going to uh, pull everything out and go against uh, Everybody's, especially Jake's prediction, and the Bobcats are going to win that one. All right, District 36A, uh, Mission High versus McAllen High, which is now a, a uh, pretty interesting game. You wouldn't have thought that at the beginning of the year, but now it's a pretty interesting game. Uh, there at uh, McAllen Memorial Stadium. Yeah, uh, okay, really interesting thing. Matt Step on Texas football has Row not in because they have to win uh, this game or have some things happen to them. Tough game. I, Memorial is going to win, but Rose going to have to come strong in this game to, to really have a chance. Yeah, but we're talking about the Mission High versus McCown. Mission High, McCown. What day is that? That's Thursday. Tomorrow. Oops, my bad. <laughs> well. Uh, no, um, Mac High needs to win this game. Uh, but they should win. It's. it's but Mission did beat Palmview, so uh, it's not going to be an easy win. But uh, I think Mackay is playing better than they were midway through the season. 
Yeah, I think Mackay needs a win and La Jolla needs to lose for them to make the playoffs. I believe that's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, Mackay, I really thought last week would have been the week for them to really continue their, their, their second half surge. Um, Mission's looking to play spoiler here, but I think I'm going to go with Mackay in this football game, and then they'll have to scoreboard watch on Friday. Jake, did you pick Mission? Or pick I pick Mackay, okay. but I... I wouldn't be surprised if Mission wins this. Okay, I, I'm going to go against both of you guys. I'm going to pick Mission High. And the only reason is this. I saw Mack High um, last game, and they just did not look in sync. Uh, they looked offensively very, very, uh, very, very, very slow. Mm -hmm. uh, They're missing a couple of offensive weapons. Uh, and so I think that, that Mission High, coming off that big win in the bye week, they'll... they'll uh, They'll pick it up. So mission high for, for myself. Uh, Friday night. Kevin, you have those Fridays? I'm trying to get that one set right All right. I can do it. All right. So we'll go. We'll, okay, go ahead. All right. Let's do this. I got it right. All right. <laughs> 32 6 8, uh, Joey, take it over. <laughs> uh, Bronzeville Hanna versus Wesco East at uh, Bobby Lackey Stadium. I This is going to be very interesting to me. Yeah. Because this goes back into our playoffs. Mm-hmm. So. All right, East needs us win. Uh, now, I want to see East win, okay? Uh, I want to see East win. Uh, I, I think there's so many different angles. Uh, but I want to see East play Bella. I don't know if that's going to happen right now. We'll see. Um, but I, I'm going to go with East in this game because uh, it's at home, okay? But Hannah could surprise them. You never know. Yeah, I'm going to go with West Coast East as well in this one. Uh, like Jake said, there's so many different scenarios with West Coast East, but I believe if they win, they're in. And it's going to be a tough challenge against Hanno, who we've seen give people headaches, but I'm going to go with uh, Burgett and the Wildcats in this one. Yeah, I was, I was asked on, on Twitter uh, several times about playoff scenarios. We'll and, and just with Hanna and West Coast East, there's, the, 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 the scenarios are unbelievable. Um, Bronzeville Hanna at the beginning of the year, you would have thought would not even be in the, in contention, or even you'd say West Coast is going to run them over. Uh, I think in this case it's going to be a battle, and but West Coast is going to pull it out at the end. So West Coast at home against Bronzeville Hanna. Uh, Harlington South versus Bronzeville Rivera at Sam Stadium. Oh, hey, real quick, uh, Jay Flotis, uh, you said that there's going to be rain tomorrow. You don't realize they have a goose in at Bronzeville Vets. Okay. Gustavo will run all over Ghana tomorrow. I mean, I hate to say it, but they're that good. So, um, you know, you're talking about a team that puts, you know, on, on put a whooping on a head yeah. count. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be a tough day for them. Uh, however, moving on, which game? Uh, Harlington South versus Browns for Rebecca. Oh, Harlington South. Yeah. Harlington South. Even though this game is uh, no playoff implications whatsoever, uh, like Coach Richie and them to finish on a high note. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go against you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick Bronze Rivera, uh, just because I like picking the underdog, being a Cleveland Browns fan, and uh, I think yeah, you're gonna see that up there. Uh, Bronze Rivera I think is gonna is gonna uh, surprise Harlington South on that one, and uh, the the uh, Raiders are better than that one. So Savannah versus Harlington High. I know Kevin has really been looking forward to this one. Jake, you want to go first on this? Yes. I'll go next, I'll let you go last, because I know you got a lot of stuff to go on this one. All right. Uh, let's see. Somebody already has asked me if I was going to pick against them and uh, against San Benito, that is. Uh, that's a very interesting one, okay? <laughs> Beginning of the year, I think if you would have asked me that, I would have said yes. I would pick against San Benito. All right. Even though it's at Bogus Stadium, I'm going to go San Benito. Sorry. San Benito. Interesting. Um, I, I, the same thing here. I think San Benito is a much, much different team uh, compared to in years past. Uh, Harlington High has seemed not themselves or the typical Cardinals of, of years past. So I think this year, San Benito is going to take it. I'm going to go with San Benito as well. Uh, the War Dogs are going to come out in this one. The, uh, Leo Tien is going to play in his football game. What I heard last week in that game against Harlingen, I mean, the last Saturday game, uh, was he was kind of limited to see what he could do with his shoulder injury. But it's just a pain tolerance thing. So it's just as much pain he can take as much as he's going to play. We all know he's going to play. And he's going to give it his 100%. So is, uh, so is Jesse Castro. So is the Harlingen Cardinals. But like Jake said, if you would have asked us at the beginning of the year, who would we pick? I think we'd all say Harlingen. But the times have changed. And the scary thing about San Benito is the core of those kids are all juniors. Um, the X Factor and the kid who I'm looking to have a big game is going to be Tyron Harper. 
uh, San Benito on the road, they're going to make a, what is it, three feet? Hey, I'm going to say this right now. Somebody give back the tunnel because they can't run out <laughs> at, at Bowie Stadium through like a tarp. Okay, somebody give that thing back to them. But they, right. they got a brand new one. Did they really? Yeah, they got a brand new one. It looks really nice. Yeah. I saw it on Twitter the other day. So it's it, a it good booster really program. Good. Yeah. yeah, they 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 the, the parents really got it going. Uh, this is a this is one that that, that uh, always gets me uh, when Harlan, when uh, Wesco High plays those Fresno. This is one of those games that that people mark on their calendar. West of us say those red zones, we need to beat. And I know Tony V looks at that, mm -hmm. especially for a, while, for a while. Scott Ford had him on the radio show a long time yes. ago with Tony Farina. My good friend Tony Farina was watching right now, uh, and they had a shirt that said W4S, and I said it's worked for state. He goes, Oh, I thought it was West go four straight. <laughs> like they beat West go four straight times the Springer brothers and everything. Uh, look, Los Fresnos. I think had more firepower than Westlake. So having said that, I'm going to pick Los Fresnos because I think that Westlake, while they have a great defense, Los Fresnos can score more than them. I'm going to go with Los Fresnos. Yeah, Los Fresnos definitely has more firepower. Um, it's going to be it's a home game, right? It's in Los Fresnos. Mm -hmm. so defense was able to pitch the shutout. I think uh, Coach Brown is going to pull what San Benito may have done, watch that film, see what it takes to slow down Westlake's offense. The key here really quick is if Westlake falls behind by two scores out of the gate, I think it's going to be ball game over because I don't think that offense is built to play a shootout. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. You mentioned the seven points. Well, that seven points was because of a, a muffed uh, yeah. yeah. A special team. teams play, right? So you have that that ball deep in their in, in their territory. They end up scoring later on, but after that, the offense didn't do anything uh, for Westaco. The defense is what kept them in that game. Uh, I don't think that the offense is going to continue clicking uh, like they've been all year long. Uh, I'm going to go against the Panthers again. I know it's going to it's going to upset some people, but Los Fresnos there at at, uh, at their home and the lack of offense. From Westaco, is going to lead to a win from Los Fresnos, and that'll knock Westaco out of the playoffs. Yeah, and then real quick, you got to tip your hats to Westaco. That, that is a tough task to play against San Benito and Los Fresnos in the last two weeks of the season. Because before we were talking three and two, they were looking good to make the playoffs. Oh, yeah. Ha having said this, let, let me just look say right now the implications for the playoffs. Real quick, if Los Fresnos loses and Westaco goes in. The whole dynamics of, of Westlake East playing Bella goes out the window because mm -hmm. Westlake and Westlake East are the two small schools. Westlake will play Bella. I hate that game. I want to see a tough, gritty game. So I'm hoping Los Fresnos wins just for that fact. Not because I don't like Westlake, but just for that sheer fact. I want some uh, some staying power in that first round game. As, as much as I would like to see Westlake's uh, defense against Bella's offense, I really don't see the Panthers beating Los Fresnos. Uh, in that scenario, it'd have to be, you know, they would have to beat the the, the, uh, the Falcons at home, um, and then offense would have to pick up pick up what they're not. They would need a lot to go right. I don't I don't think that's going to happen. Even though it'd be nice, maybe uh, something later on. Los Fresnos wins their playoffs. Los Fresnos win their playoffs. Westco has to Westco High has to win. Has to. Uh, well, we'll talk about that. Yeah, later. we'll, we'll talk about that later. So uh, thirty two five A, uh, Mercedes and Donna, the only Friday night game for that district. Yeah, I'm going to go with Mercedes. It's no brainer. No. Mercedes. Yeah, the Tigers. Uh, 31 6 a you got Vela versus uh, the Jags in Economides. All right. Real interesting storyline here. If Economides would beat them, Edinburgh would become co-city champs with Vela, which blows my mind. And also, they would be co-district champs, which, if that happens, <laughs> everybody in Vela will, will cry Tears and they, you know, you know uh, poor, poor Bobcats. Uh, but no, uh, not, not saying that they're vandalizing it. But, uh, but, curious type football game with Bella already wrapped everything up. Uh, if they build a big lead, do they sit their starters at halftime? You know, so that will be remain remain to be seen. Uh, but I'm gonna go with Edinburgh Bella in this one, which means Econ would be out of the playoffs because Econ is what needs to win and they need North to lose for them to make it. Yeah. But uh, too much firepower on Edinburgh Bella. Um, you know, we've covered them all year. 
Yeah. In other words, I, I don't I don't think uh, the Jags have their defense enough to, to stand up to Bella's offense. Uh, we we I, I saw them at their own homecoming. I compare that to every other game I've seen them, and their defense is just not up to snuff against the Bella offense. So, uh, and then again, once again, special teams. Special yes, teams is right. coming in big right. for Bella, uh, and I like that. I'm the kind of guy that likes the three phases of the of the uh, uh, football more than anybody else because I know people like to say, oh, offense, is, offense win games, they score points, defense wins championships, blah, blah. But you know what? Special teams makes a big difference. And Vela has focused on their special teams, has gotten better on their special teams, and that's what's made differences in games for them. Yeah. So Vela, Vela's, uh, because of special teams, as an all-around good uh, team, uh, they're definitely going to... Hey, I, I do have to say this real quick. I didn't mean that I didn't think that... Uh, PSG North is going to beat Edinburgh because I picked them to beat Edinburgh. Sorry, Coach Campos. But, you know, so that would actually happen. They have to beat, Edinburgh has to beat PSG North and Bella would have to lose. So he kind of needs for a share of the city championship and the co district. So that was Jake backing up. Yeah. So 5 3, your Indians are back in it. In oh, middle, great. So. All right. That, that makes me feel better. Maybe we should talk about more football. Now. <laughs> so PSJ Southwest versus PSJ Memorial. Southwest. Southwest. Southwest as well. Okay, 31-5A, Roma versus Pioneer. 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 For my buddy Tony, if he's still watching? Yes. Roma? No, Pioneer. Roma's not going to win district championship. Yeah. Tony, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, Sherryland versus Rio Grande City. Very, uh, oh, go ahead. No, I got Sherryland this game. Uh, I got Sherryland because they're, they're what they did last week, they're mission vets. Uh, I got them offensively and their defense playing pretty well. I gave it to Sherryland. Yeah, it's a really, there's three teams going for those two spots, Sherryland, Rio, and Mission Vets, and uh, it all comes, it, it may come down to points, uh, positive points, and in that case, Mission Vets was at, what, was 17, or was that, was that last week? But it, it may come down to positive points in this yeah. one, but um, I'm going to go with, with Sherryland in this football game to, to make the playoffs. At the end of the day, it'd be Mission Vets, Sherryland, and Unfortunately, Rio would be the last team out. But I Sherry think I great think, first year though for Coach Garcia. Yeah, I think, yeah, that was a great great season for him. But I think he's going to come up short. Sherryland uh, is going to win this one. I, I think because they're coming off a big win and they're going to continue that that momentum into this game. Sherryland is going to come up with a win. Uh, Valley View versus Mission Vets at Tom Landry Stadium. Oh, Mission Vets. Yeah, Mission Vets. Same thing. All right, 36 a La Jolla versus Palmview. I'm on the Coyote train. I'm going to go with uh, Joseph Moreno and hello, Coach Moreno uh, and Coach Funny and all that. But Coach Moreno, I have a pass with him. Uh, I'm going to go with La Jolla. Yeah, La Jolla, La Jolla is uh, supporting. Yeah, I liked I liked Palmview and the way they looked against McCallum against the Bulldogs, but La Jolla is going to win this one. All right, so uh, McCallum Moore versus McCallum Rowe. I know, I know Jake has already made his pick. Memorial's going to win this one. So, yeah, yeah. Kevin, you want to go? Yeah, I'm going to go with the McCallum Memorial. Just, just too much firepower. If they can uh, control the ground game early, keep that offense off the field, I think everything will be fine. Wow. It, it, yeah, Memorial, and I got I have to see him up, up close. Uh, man, they give the ball to anybody. It seems like anybody can score. Uh, it's not just one person on an offense. It's multiple people. they got such a talented offense. There's no way Ro can... You got to talk about that defense, too, because their defense is pretty darn oh, good. Their defense, they have a couple big hitters in their, their linebackers that are just amazing. Uh, they swarm to the ball. They, they cheat up on the line of scrimmage and, and just cause some havoc in the backfield. So, uh, you know, again, both sides of the ball are going to rule uh, against Ro. Yeah. And Ro's going to lose on this one. So, um, let's Hi. see. We're on to PI, We're on, right? We're on uh, 16, yeah, 16 4 in Division 2, PI versus West Oslo. I'm going with Pi, it's infinite. <laughs> Tarpons for me. Port is a bonus. <laughs> As uh, Jake likes to say, West Oslo is a basketball town. We'll wait yeah. for them to uh, get in basketball scene. Progresso Rio versus Rio Hondo. Uh, Rio Hondo. Same Rio, thing. Rio Hondo. Yeah, even though they're, they're ranked low and uh, somebody's mm -hmm. sub 5A. Yeah. Um, like Jake said, I think they need to watch games a little more. Yeah, real, real, real. Hey, real quick, uh, <laughs> Margaret, we didn't forget about Nixon versus Martin. But if I was going to pick Nixon, we win because they're my best friends. 
<laughs> you like the green. Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, Orange Grove versus Raymondville. Uh, I, I go with uh, Raymondville with the upset in that game against the OGs. Oh, I, I like Raymondville uh, in this game as well. It's going to be at uh, Bearcat Stadium, by the way. So, um, 16 4 in Division 1. That's going to be Gruya versus La Feria. I'm going to call this game right now. This is going to be a better game than Battle of the Arroyo. You think so? Yes. Uh, competitive wise. I think it's going to be a really good game. It's going to be back and forth. I think uh, I'm going to go with La Feria in this one because it's at home. Uh, but Gruden's going to give him a game because I, I, I got to see the highlights against uh, St. Joe's. Gruden can score. Yeah, it's for, well, it's for district title. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to go with uh, La Feria in this one. And it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, Jake's right. Uh, Gruya and, and La Feria is going to be a battle. I just don't think it's going to be as close as you think it is, Jake. I, I think the home team is going to uh, run away with it. La Feria is going to be a uh, winner at home. Zapata versus Hidalgo. Ooh. I'm going to go with Hidalgo. My coach Judy. I'm gonna go with Coach Judy. Yeah, Coach Judy, Pirates. Uh, I'm gonna pick Zapata just because you guys put it out there. Okay. Just because of that. And I know my the people are saying, well, you don't know anything about four A. Sue me. There I you pick go. Zapata. Yeah. All right. So uh, Monte, Alto. Monte Alto versus Skidmore, and I can't read it because time. All right. Um, time. Yeah. Skidmore time should win. Monte Alto actually. Uh, uh, I get them in this one as an upset. Monte Alto. Monte Alto. Okay. So, uh, District 16-3A, Division 1, Lyford versus San Diego. I'm going to go with Lyford because you know what San Diego stands for. It's a whales. Lyford. Watch, Lyford. watch Anchorman. I always pick Lyford, so, you know, Lyford's going to be my pick from, from now on. That's my automatic, like, your Edward North pick. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Bishop versus Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. Just Cavazos. Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. All right, 16-2A uh, Division One. Santa Maria versus Freer. Santa Maria. San Maria. Okay, uh, same thing here. Three Rivers versus La Villa. I'm going to pick La Villa for this one just because they're at home. I want to go to this next game. Well, come on. If it was only a Saturday game. Oh, uh, La Villa. Has it been oh, wrong game? game, wrong game. Oh, yeah. um, oh, what the heck. I'll be the homer. La, uh, La Villa is the first one of you? Yeah, I'm going with La Villa because three yeah. reverence is just too good. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, St. Joe versus Antonio Prep. Okay. Uh, Antonio Prep is really good. St. Joe is going to be a tough game. Uh, I'm going to go. It's at home, though. So I'm going to go St. Joe. Yeah, St. Joe bounces back. Saint be a homer, St. Joe. All right. Uh, Saturday games. Let's see. Saturday games, Jake, what do you what do you have? Um, mine's loading softly. All right. I've got Brownsville Pace and Brownsville Lopez. I've got Brownsville Lopez in that game. Kevin, who do you have? Brownsville Lopez. They're going <laughs> to bounce back. I think, I think winner, winner gets that last playoff spot. Yeah, Brownsville Lopez is going to win this one because they, they need that playoff spot. Yes. So On Saturday, Martin versus Nixon. Uh, oh, Jake likes, likes Nixon. Jake likes my best friends. Win. Yeah. Nixon. Um, Nixon, which is the Raider team? Huh? Which is the Laredo team? <laughs> Forget it. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> so Nixon on that one. That's it's going to end uh, all the games that we have for uh, all the districts. I have a bunch of volleyball stuff on here. So yeah. Um, but it, we're going to talk about the playoffs in just a little bit. We're uh, going to cut it off today. But uh, Jake, what's your Twitter? Uh, Jake nine five six sports at naro eighty eight. 956 Sports Joey, make sure you follow us on, on Twitter. Make sure you follow 956 Sports uh, at, on Twitter as well. And we will see you next week in the, the playoffs. Thanks for watching. Uh, for Jake, Kevin, and myself, have a great day.